Okay, so a few people are asking me there yesterday how you go about creating these deep engravings using the Xtool S1 40 watt laser. And I've just decided to do a quick video on it today. So essentially this is uh, Xtool Creative Space. And here you can see I've got two images brought in. So this one here is my depth map image and this is the actual image I want, right? So you're using this depth map image to do your contour engrave, your deep engrave. And this image was created using an app over on, it's app.artificialstudio.ai. It's free to use. You literally just throw your image into it and hit run and then download your image and this will give you a depth map image. Um, once you have that, you want to bring it in to your creative space. I have set the engraving power for this at 50, the speed at 180, bitmap mode is grayscale and 100 lines per centimeter it doesn't have to be that precise for this one because all we're doing is roughing out essentially so bring your image down onto your area that we have prepared and um, both of these are the same size i've checked them that they're both 70 by 70 as you can see up here on the top and this one's 70 by 70 as well once you catch your image and bring it on to your marked out so i've marked out my wooden piece in my laser so this is my workspace here. Once you bring it in, align it exactly in the center, like that, you just get a crosshair left and right and up and down. Once you have that, you know you're in the center. You want to make sure over here that only one of these is outputting a file. So select this one here and we want to turn it off. So turn off the output. And we want to now go back and we're going to hit process on this. And it's going to process this low quality image on the wooden board in the laser so if you hit start on this this takes a little while to run so this is quite a deep burn now into the wood and it has very little detail. So I'm going to let this run until it's complete and then I'm going to come back then and show the next step. Okay, so our first pass of the rough cut is almost complete. We have 20 seconds or less left on this. And as you can see, there's very little detail on this, but it has started to do the contour. So we're going to go and do a second pass on this at less power. Okay, first pass is done. Back to this and we want to go click OK. We want to select that same layer again and we want to reduce the power back. So this one we'll bring it back to about 30%. I want to change my height as well. So the depth of the laser is penetrating down. So at present it's set to 47.43 between the laser and the material. I want to reduce that down to Let's say 48, sorry, increase it to 48 so it's going deeper into the material. Because it's already lost like half a mil or so from the first pass. So click confirm, nothing else changed. And we're going to leave this the same and hit process again. Hit start. is cleaning off the previously burnt material and giving it a pretty deep burn. So we're going to just complete and then we're going to do the actual image over it and again it will be done on grayscale but we'll probably be using about 220 lines for that one. So I'll come back when this is almost finished and ready for the next step. Okay so it's almost finished at the second pass and once that's done we'll be going on to the actual image you can see there's a bit of a contour already there so it's pretty good so 
So, back to the laptop. And close that. Click OK. And then catch this image. Drag it out of the way. Select this. And because we already had this set up to the center, we can be fairly sure that this is exactly right because it's the right size. It's 70 by 70 and it's the right smack in the middle of our material. We want to go over here to the right hand side and we want to turn on the output for this layer. And this time we want lines per centimeter, um, 200, 220, somewhere around that is probably sufficient. And 20% power is fine. And we want to use grayscale. So go back to this and we want to turn off this other layer. Click turn off output. And I want to hit process. And this is probably going to take a lot longer than the previous ones. So it's in 14 and a half minutes. So we're going to process this and see how it goes. Okay, file sent. <laughs> back in when we have a little bit of detail to show. Okay now as you can see this detail is starting to come into the top of the helmet. I probably should have done them with more power. We might have to do a second pass over this. But essentially it's putting the detail in that was missed on the previous passes. But you can see this good depth now to the top of the helmet and around the horns and stuff. That's almost finished its first pass on the image layer. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to redo it again, but increase the power. That was only 20% power. I think I'm going to go back to 50% power and redo it. See how it looks. So we'll try that in a moment. Okay, so that's the image layer complete on its first pass back to this and click OK. I'm going to change this again from being 20 and I think I'm going to go out about 50%. Leave everything else the same. Process. And start. So let that run and when it's halfway down I might just cut back in with the video again to show how it's progressing. Okay so with 50% power we're getting a far better result. You can see a really deep burn over at the right hand side of the screen. So that'll all clean up nicely with a bit of wire wool when all this is finished. We'll just give it the next 10 minutes to finish out and we'll cut back to it then. Okay, so we've got a really deep engraving on that and I am pretty happy with that so I think we'll take it out see how it looks so that's it straight out of the laser and you can see it's got a pretty deep cut to it now you have a couple of options after that you can use wire wool which I have some and 
some sandpaper. I've also got a Dremel with a wire wheel on the end of it, so I'm going to try each of those and see how it goes. So this is the wire wheel on the Dremel, so we'll give that a try and just to clean up any of the darker spots here where there's a lot of burn. your finished engraving and you've got at least two mil of a burn in that I'd say or damn close to it if not so give it a try see how you get on thanks